Hi guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can bypass your MDM lock on version 16.3.1. So yes, 16.3.1 is the latest firmware version that you may have on your iPad or, or iPhone devices. And by following this method exactly step by step, I'm going to be showing you how you can bypass the MDM on any of those devices, you know. So this is basically will work on any new devices. The older iPads and iPhones might not have this version, so it this is not going to work on that version as long as your device is capable of installing 16.3.1 this method will work guaranteed so i'm going to leave some links in the description below and i'll be walking you through the steps so with that um you're going to need two files um and i'm just going to show you and i'll tell you how to get it you know it's, one of them is this particular one and the next one is this right so for you to get that you know um I'm going to be leaving the link in the description below how to get that. So just follow it and trust me, it will be easy. Um, so the first thing I would recommend is go on this website, 3u.com and uh, download this version. And uh, what this is, is basically this software right here that you're going to need um, for you to follow the process. So once you have the 3U tools downloaded, um, then um, go on this link right here. And uh, from here, you're gonna go ahead and download this uh, particular file. Um, and uh, you know, this is something that we're gonna need. And once you have this file downloaded, what you need is, uh, you know, this is a zip file, which is RAR. So you're not gonna be able to use it until you download this application which is called winzip you know this will help you extract that so this is something you have to purchase but you can use the trial version to unzip it you know they give you a 23 day, day trial or something like that so just use that free version to unzip these files then you need uh, you know if you need firmware because we're going to need to restore the ipad or the iphone so this is a website where you can get all the firmware based on the type of the phone that you have uh, or iPad that you have. So, you know, um, this comes in handy in case, you know, if you have, uh, if you don't have that. Um, also, you need iTunes on your computer. So make, make sure you have the latest version of the iTunes. If you don't have it, you can just, uh, you know, install it. Now this, this particular method I'm doing it on Windows computer, but it is also available for Mac. So the very first thing you need to do is uh, restore your iPad. So Okay, so to restore the iPad, the very first thing you need to do is uh, connect it to the computer. And if you go in the iTunes, uh, on this side, you're going to see restore iPad. So you can check for update. You can update it. This should be the latest firmware. So just click on restore and it's going to erase everything on the iPad. Whatever you have is going to be clean out. And uh, that process might take a little bit, you know, so just make sure you're connected to the internet and click on restore. All right, uh, another very important folder that you're gonna be needing um, is, you know, uh, it's located right here. You need to be, you need to have access to this backup folder. This is where all the backup for your iPad uh, goes, you know, and this is where we're gonna be dragging these files that we downloaded right here. So I just wanted to give you a background and, and this particular um, thing is, located right here so if you go into this pc you know if you go into users if you go into your home directory you know whatever you you guys might have it named under your name or something like that and then from here you have to you're gonna see this apple and then you're gonna see the mobile sync and then backup and this is where the backup is <clears throat> now in some cases Depending on what version of, um, you know, iTunes you're running, you know, it might be in a different location. It might be under uh, uh, AppSync or something like that, you know. Um, but this is one of the most ish common issues that people cannot find this backup. So it it is okay if it's at a different location. That's not going to uh, matter because all this does is bring that backup, that customized backup that we have, you know, into the iTunes. That's all it does. So just locate your folder. If you cannot find it, just, just you know, it's there in your computer, right? And if you don't see it, you may have to create a backup, um, you know, from the device because if it's a new device, 
you might not even have any backup, you know, and so this folder might not even be created, you know, so if you create a backup, you know, backup your iPhone or something, and it will bring that backup over here, and then all we need is just access to that backup folder, and then we're going to drag over file. So the very first thing I'm going to do, uh, because since we're going to be needing that later anyways, is the two files that we downloaded, you know, it was a zip file that we um, uh, downloaded, you know, so when I unzipped it, you know, it gave me these two folders. Um, you know, this is a backup folder, um, you know, that we're going to need. And this is the actual file, which is we're going to execute at a later time. So if you notice, this folder is exactly the same as this one, which is completely fine. All you have to do is just drag and drop this over here, which I already have. So if you notice, um, exact same numbers um, is located right here. So this is the exact same folder. I already had it copied right here. So just make sure you drag that folder into the backup folder and that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, this is something you can do at any stage of this entire process. So I just like to do, uh, you know, queue things up, you know, before I'm doing anything. So I think now I'm ready for everything. Um, and uh, let's go ahead and uh, restore the iPad. This is something you're gonna have to do. You have to restore the iPad to the latest um, application or latest uh, uh, firmware which is 16.3.1 and uh, once it's restored then I'm going to show you the process so let's get it going okay so at this point I am ready to go ahead and uh, do the restore so over here you're going to see restore from backup um, and this is what you're going to see so if you recall the dump this folder from our desktop to over here. And all we're gonna do is, uh, once we once you do that, it's gonna appear right here. So this is the one you're gonna select. So let's go ahead and uh, click restore from this backup. Make sure you guys select this backup and click on continue. And it's gonna do its thing. Restoring iPad from backup. And uh, don't do anything, just let it do its thing, see? And then you're gonna get this message. The settings of your iPad have been restored. Please leave your iPad connected. It will appear in the iTunes. Okay. So that's it. Now we're going to go into, we're just going to go ahead and close iTunes. Okay. So once you're done with that, let's go ahead and uh, what we need to do, you're going you're to see this restore complete. And, uh, so you're still gonna see this remote management, which is completely fine. At this point, if you're not already connected to the Wi-Fi, you may wanna connect it to the Wi-Fi. So I did connect it. As you can see, the Wi-Fi is connected. Now what you wanna do once you have the Wi-Fi connected, uh, you're gonna come up over here and uh, click on toolbox and deactivate. So the deactivate is right here. Sometimes it's over here. Uh, so just click on deactivate select this and start the deactivation process okay just give it some time before you do that okay deactivate all right deactivation is successful now once it's deactivated if you come on the i device over here you will see it says no active activate now so that tells you that it is deactivated okay we can go ahead and close that now we're going to go back to this folder um the one we downloaded and 15 to 16 just double click and over here you're going to see a file down here it says indium bypass so just double click on this and uh, let it do its thing and that's fine it's gonna reboot so once it's done rebooting we'll be back at this screen and uh, then we're gonna relaunch this application again and now we have to click on activate now so click on activate and you want to uncheck this box right there. Click a start.
and that's it. Activation succeeded. Click OK. And over here, it says activated, yes. And now if you start up your iPad, everything should be good and running. There you go. All right. So that, that is it, guys. You know, um, very simple process. So step one, make sure you reset the whole thing. Uh, your iPad, you know, make sure you're on the latest firmware version, 16.3.1. Um, once you're on the latest one, you know, make sure you have the files downloaded, the two that we mentioned to you, these two files. Um, then you have to move this particular one to the folder right here. This is, you know, where your backup folder is. You know, you might have a, a different location in your computer. Move that over there just since you're going to need it. Um, once it's done restoring, we're going to restore to this backup, you know, from iTunes. Um, you know, once you connect your iPad with the reset version, you know, it's going to pop up and ask you for backup. You know, we did restore it to this version. Then, then, then we went on the three U tools. And then from here, we deactivated that um, using toolbox, you know, we deactivated the device first. Then we ran the file that was under this folder. And that file was right here. We ran this file. Once this file was done running, then all we did was reactivated the device. So right from here, we just activated the device and that's pretty much it. It uh, brought everything back to life. So hopefully, you know, this video will help you um, bypass your MDM. Again, this is just for educational purpose, guys. You know, um, you shouldn't really be doing this, uh, you know, if it's a corporate um, iPad or something. You know, I just wanted to educate you people how to do that, you know, but just use it wisely and properly. All right. Hopefully you guys like the video. If you like it, guys, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you.